So they tell me that here where I live in zone 8B, I can start planting stuff now. It's March, it's the 2nd of March, and there are a few things that I'm going to plant. First of all, I'm going to put some more sweet peas into this front garden here. And then I'm going to go into the back garden and I'll show you what I'm going to plant there. Here we are. Here's what I planted yesterday. And some peas back here. And some spinach and some rat. And the, I planted those a little while ago. But yeah, so I have those little things planted. I think I might come out here. Somebody is telling me that I can do carrots. But. Oh, what's that? I think I want to wait another week or so anyway, just because, oh, I think that's just a weed. I don't think my peas have not come up here yet. Da, da, da. I still haven't come out and cut that celery, which I need to do. Oh, that almost looks like an onion back there. And if that is an onion coming up, it is too. That is an onion. So I can plant onions. This is just a piece of grass. And this, this used to be parsley. Now it's apparently flowers. <laughs> Still no sign of the garlic. No sign of it at all. I'm so sad. Okay, so hopefully you can see me. I hope. <laughs> I'm on my own. I'm taking mom's car and I am going to the nursery because I have about a two week window here where I can possibly buy garlic and get it planted and still get a crop this year. So since none of my garlic has come up, I'm going to pick another spot and I am going to grow some garlic. So let's go for a little ride. today. My goodness. And here we are with the fruit trees. <laughs> so, this is Klein's Nursery, 
and it is a very nice place as you can see behind me and all around me and I'm going to look at the fruit trees and see what they have got. Well, so I broke down and I went and I got some garlic and now these have already started and the roots are growing out of them. So, I are don't know. Are you talking know. to yourself again? <laughs> no, I'm talking to YouTube. <laughs> the guy. Anyway, so I got those. I only got nine of them. But I'm going to plant them as soon as it stops raining. They can just sit out here underneath the porch for now. But, yeah, it started raining while I was at the nursery. And, yeah. Da -da -da. <laughs> Food. Okay. Are you still filming? Yes. You're going to talk to me instead. What were you talking to out there? The camera. <laughs> what were you talking about? My garlic. Where is it? On the table. I thought you were going to plant it. It's raining. You're a BC girl. It always. I'm not rains. a BC girl. I'm an Alberta girl. <laughs> You that lives in BC. <laughs> then, then I don't like the rain. Suck it up. No, I don't like my glasses getting raindrops. Brother. What's wrong now? <laughs> so take your glasses off. And then I can't see anything. So you're just poking holes in dirt. <laughs> She's complaining I'm not planting the garden fast enough. Yeah, she had to use my car, using my gas, to go and get garlic so that she can grow it, so that she can be hydrated and keep me out of the house when she dehydrates it. By the way, is that the only canned cat food we have that's what's left on the shelves there? Maybe I'll pick up, because i got to go fill up my car with gas. Why? Because she drove... What is it? It's like the two bars down, right? I don't know. It might be three. <laughs> <laughs> it's less than three quarters full, honey. Did you see the way gas prices are going up? Well, what do you expect? Bump, 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 bump. You can't even... <laughs> they want you to buy an electric car, but then, <laughs> then the power companies have to know. <laughs> Not enough power to charge all the electric cars. We're going to have to have some rolling brownouts so people can charge their cars. <laughs> well, now, so that, I guess, is that. It's still raining outside, so I haven't planted my garlic. However, I did plant a bunch of onion this morning because I found that onion going that was growing yesterday I found that and so I went out today and I planted a bunch of onion seed and they take a while the onions especially the big storage ones which I've got a few that should be pretty big now I kind of did a my bad um <laughs> I did like I had three kinds of onions that I had like just a, I, don't, I don't know a few seeds of each and so I just went out there and sprinkled them and I kind of know that you know these ones are Patterson and these ones are white and then these ones are the Elsa whatever it is uh, that are supposed to be really big and I'm assuming at the end I'll be able to tell them apart but they're all good storage onions and that was that was what was important to me was to get some good storage onions and get them growing because apparently they take the whole year like a hundred days 110 days so yeah, that's a while. <laughs> I also got some leeks. I just got the seeds today, but at the nursery when I went there, I got a few more seeds and yeah, so I need to go out and plant a few more things. Hopefully we'll get some dry weather in the next little while. I'm hoping anyway. Still nothing coming up. Even the stuff I planted back in February Apparently the pea seeds and stuff that I planted, they will wait until the soil gets warm enough and then they'll sprout. 
whether I planted them last fall or if I planted them, you know, whatever, a month ago. So I'm still hoping that they'll come up, and I'm hoping the same with the sweet peas out front. Although, as you know, I did plant some more sweet peas out front. And then it's March, it's the beginning of March, and time passes quickly. So in another couple of weeks, I'm going to be out there planting carrots. It says to wait on carrots until... Um, mid-March anyway so I'm gonna wait at least another week and then I may throw a few in there the onions I didn't worry too much about because like I said I found that onion that was just coming up and growing so if it's growing naturally it's got to be time to sow the seeds right oh wait <laughs> I totally forgot to say like I always do um, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you don't like the video. I'm happy with either one. Uh, leave a comment if you have one and make sure that you're subscribed. Ring that bell, ding, 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 all that fun stuff. Oh, and what else? Oh, and there is a link. So some of you know, if you've been watching my videos at all, you know that I'm also an artist and, and you know that I also do web design and graphic design and stuff. And so there is a link to my website down uh, in the description and then I also cook with a lot of freeze-dried foods and I am a consultant for Thrive so if you're interested at all in trying freeze-dried foods you should uh, check out that link down there and then the Ruby I need to tell you guys about the Ruby a little bit more uh, sometime but I'll leave a link there is a video for it so I will leave a link and you can check that out and it's pretty cool stuff too so if you're looking at ways to get more veggies in your life Ruby is definitely the way to go anyway that's my update on my garden for today I hope that you are having a wonderful day I will see you soon bye now <laughs>